the Form Titan video, and in this video, we'll show you how to publish the Form Titan directly through Word Add In. So, in the past, you, you would have to create your template and then push it to an existing form. In the new release, we'll show you how to do this straight from scratch. You don't have to bother with the form and then have to do it the other way around. So, it's a very cool functionality, and let me show you how it's done. So, what we'll do, we'll create a simple form with first name. Well, whoops, okay, so first name, last name, email, and then we'll do account name as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and insert some fields, insert field, and we'll choose contact, contact details in the comments, and then we'll choose first name. So field, insert second field, which is going to be last name. Then email. Then account name, and we'll reference this from account ID. Account ID, and then we'll reference it to account name. Okay, so once this is done, your template is good to go. Now, under Publish, you can just select New Form, and then click Publish a New Form. Once you do that, it will ask you for the form name like this. So what I'll do is I'll just call it Publish like this, exactly what this is. And then I'll go ahead and publish it. Okay, so it's uploading the document. Now it's been done. If you go back into form titan and I go back to my dashboard quickly you will see there's this new form that's just been created all right so we've done the legwork for you so what we've done is created a hidden field already then we've just even mapped it so go to the form and you go to document generation word mapping you can see that the template has been automatically uploaded it's already mapped the record ID and it's also view with available as well. I'm just quickly going to check preview before submit. But all the good work is done. Now you just have to create the fields and link them. So let's do that. So we'll get full name. We'll get email. And we'll get a text box. And we'll call this account name. Account name. And then finally, I'll get a button, and we'll call this button Submit. Okay, cool, done. So now, we go back into here, and you can see that it's actually already created the get for us, right here. And then what I'm going to do is just simply edit it. Instead of a custom button, I'm just going to say, I'll, I'll load it as a parameter. But you can use it as a custom button if you wish. And then here, I'm going to say contact ID must equal my hidden field record ID, which has been created by the push from the Word document. Click Apply, then simply have to map the fields. First name, last name, email, and then account ID, referenced by account name. Just like that. So, everything's done here, we're set. So. Let's see, this field is FLD2, so what we'll do, we'll preview this, and I'll tell you what, let me enable hidden fields. Show hidden fields, there we go, give this a refresh. And then we'll do FLD2 equals, and I'll get a contact ID here, and then I'll just paste it into here. Okay, once this has been pasted, here's the information. I click Submit, wait for the file to load. And there you go. Look at that. All the data has now come through really nicely through our Word document. And making this has become ever so easier. Now, simply, all you have to do is just create the template, go ahead and create as a new form, publish a new form, and then go ahead and amend the details into the form and then view the document there. And that's how it's done.